As a result of growing public pressure, in 1985, the government commissioned Dr. Margaret Klinowska of Cambridge University to advise on new standards and assess the justification for keeping cetaceans in captivity. Her report remains the most substantial work on the subject and includes a section on welfare. We had very little information on this when we did the Dolphinarium review. It was more a general idea that because they were surviving reasonably well, because given the chance they were breeding to a certain extent, that things were maybe not unsatisfactory. But more recently, there has been a study published on physiology of captive dolphins looking at calcium levels. And from these figures, it shows that the captive dolphins are not under particular stress. We were not satisfied with the level of education of trainers and those in charge of water treatment when we did the Dolphinarium review. And from some conversations I've had recently with trainers from all over Europe, I'm still not satisfied that uh, water treatment is understood by the vast majority of trainers. But as far as I'm aware, there is no evidence whatsoever that chlorinated water is any better or worse than natural seawater. In their poster campaign, ZooCheck focuses on the lifespan of captive dolphins. They claim many animals are dying prematurely in order to entertain us. Dr. Klinowska disagrees. To many people's surprise, including our own, it turned out that the survivorship of animals, the annual survivorship of captive dolphins in the UK was very similar to that of the wild populations, according to the data we had at that time. Since then, there have been a number of other reports published and they really have found that for bottlenose dolphins in particular, annual survivorship of animals older than one year is indistinguishable from that in the wild. 